Today we have a special guest with us. We decided to uh, bring in Boston's papa because of a root beer that he re he remembers from his childhood that he would tell us about when we first started the root beer quest. One of the great things about root beer and uh, a lot of other sodas for that matter is not only do people love them because of the flavor but because of the memories that are associated with them when they tried them for the first time, where they were, who they were with, things like that. and. Uh, so like we said, this root beer that we we're trying today was one that uh, Boston's papa remembered from his childhood. And so we, we decided to bring him on so that he can taste it and relive some memories. Love to. And so that root beer is Frost Top. So Frost Top has been around since 1926 and you can still find the root beers today. I remember Boston, when I was uh, about your age or maybe a little younger, I would go to the Frosttop Drive-In in Laurel, Mississippi uh, with your great-great-grandparents, my grandparents. And uh, there's also a Frost Top in the town where I graduated from high school in Picayune, Mississippi. And so all of my childhood in the early 60s and, and in the mid-60s and so forth, about 50 years ago, these, these Frost Top Drive-Ins were around and they had burgers and fries and, but mainly I remember most of them had a large frosty mug of root beer, uh, the iconic uh, sign on the top of the drive-in, and it was up there and it would twirl around, it was well lighted at night, and you would drive in there, and, and the root beer was served in icy cold glass mugs. And oh, I have vivid memories. You were talking about the nostalgia of it. I remember going there and I don't remember the burgers, I don't remember the fries, I don't remember my parents ever taking me there, only with my great, my grandparents, your great great grandparents. And I remember it being sweet and cold, and that was important, especially during the hot summers. So I'm looking forward to it to see if it if it can relive some of those memories also. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna try this and, and throw it back to Boston's Papa's childhood and, and see how it tastes and we're going to rate it and hopefully it lives up to, uh, to all the memories. I hope so. <laughs> so we have some cold ones uh, that have been uh, chilling in the fridge. So Boston, you want to grab a couple of those out? Alright. So Boston and I are going to share this one like we normally do. And this whole one is for Papa. I love it. Alright. So remember <laughs> what the first step is. What do we need to do? Uncap it. Uncap it. And then what? Take our picture. Take our picture. So we're going to go take our picture. Okay, so like we say, we line it up. And then we want to always show the cap. Because we really like this. I've, this has been probably one of my favorite uh, logos and, and, uh, and caps that we've had so far. It's got some really cool design and, and detail on there. So now we get to taste it. So we'll give that one to Papa. We've got our official tasting glasses and our official post-it notes. <laughs> okay, so grab your pen. What are the categories? Smell, head, carbonation, sweetness, and taste. Okay, so here we go. One of the things that Frost Top talks about on its website is the, the, the tall head that the Rupert has. And so let's see, uh, let's see how it does. Oh, what? Yeah, they weren't lying. That's for I'm sure. That. <laughs> so far, so good. It's living up to, the, to its reputation. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. Even it out seems here. to be holding up, too. I know. If this doesn't, if that right. doesn't deserve the score that I'm going to give it, I don't know what will. Okay. So let's set that over here. Okay. That sometimes helps the head go down. 
Pop a Feel free to try it. Dip into it. Don't let my moaning bother you. <laughs> It's more just, you know, about the how pleasant the smell is, yeah. right? Not necessarily how strong, but how pleasant it is. Think it's a combination. Oh, that's very sweet. I like that. I really like it. Bustle's not hiding his feelings. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was remembering driving there, my grandparents had, or Boston's great-grandparents, I should say, had a 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. Nice. And uh, there were no seat belts in 1950 model cars that I recall. I remember sitting in the front seat, that's not allowed anymore for young riders. And in fact, my grandfather had even built a small box that you could sit up a little bit higher. Surely it, you would have gone launched through the windshield if you had any kind of wreck. But as I'm drinking this, I, I haven't had a root beer in for a long time. And, and so there is a great deal of nostalgia there. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I agree with what you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> But did you like the last draw? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to tally up the scores. Okay, so now the score. For smell, I gave it a four. For head, I gave it a nine. For carbonation, I gave it a four. For sweetness, I gave it a seven. For taste, a8 for that gives me a score of 32. All right, so for my scores, sweet for uh, smell, I gave it a five. Head, I gave it a nine. As you can see, it was had a very good head on it. Carbonation, I gave it a six. For sweetness, I gave it a five, and for taste, I gave it a six. So that puts my score at 31, and that gives us an overall score of 31 and a half. 31 and a half. 31 and 5 tenths, 31 and 50 hundredths, 31 and 500 thousand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you think? As an unbiased judge that doesn't know your scoring system very well, I liked it. I, I think it brought back all the memories I'd hoped yeah. for and, and, and I really appreciate you inviting me along there, if for no other reason that I had a root beer that I haven't had in about 50 years. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed this one. Um, like I said, this is kind of a trip down memory lane and it's always fun to bring somebody else on and uh, kind of have them explain why they like their particular root beer that they suggested. If you have a specific root beer that you like that we haven't tried yet, then uh, write it in the comments and we'll be happy to try and find it and try it out. You can go onto our Instagram at the root beer quest and you can see what we've tried already, and you can suggest root beers that you like that we might not have tried yet. Thanks for watching. We really enjoyed this one, and we hope you did too. And uh, there'll be plenty more to come, and we hope you tune in.